ringside introductions. See all those people in the ring. And then shortly after that, there will be just two. Key thing here for a fighter is to stay warm. Keep the sweat going. Nice crowd. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, by way of Caesars Atlantic City, main events, Panics Promotions and Cedric Kushner Promotions, in association with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you present 12 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board Boxing Commissioner, Larry Hazard Sr., Chairman Jerry Gormley, Board Members Gary Shaw and Stephen Katz, Deputy Commissioner John Greco, Physicians at Ringside, Dr. Dominic Coletta Jr., Dr. Ken Remsen, Dr. Earl Shaw and Dr. Eric Wormser. Timekeeper at the bell, Roosevelt Gilbert. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee, Lindsey Page. This bout is also sanctioned by, celebrating its 35th anniversary, the World Boxing Council. President, Jose Suleiman. WBC supervisor at ringside, Andy Vandola. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point bus system will be, Anik Hongtankam. Terry O'Connor and John Stewart. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Frank Cappuccino. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world from Caesars Atlantic City. Uh, let's get ready to Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue, trimmed with white. He weighs 228 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one. 30 victories, 24 by knockout with only one loss. From Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Shannon. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing gold, trimmed with red and green. He weighs 243 pounds. After capturing Olympic gold, he now has a professional record of 32 victories. 26 by knockout with only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, from East London, England, presenting the reigning WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Liu! Shannon, Lennox, good evening, gentlemen. You were both given your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Is there any questions from Lewis? Nope. Any questions from Briggs? Both of you stop. Both his touch gloves, come on. Come on, come on. The reluctant touch of gloves. Lennox. And we're ready Lennox. to go here. Back in the corner. Shannon Briggs. Back in the corner. Lennox Lewis. All the way back. All the way back. Lewis All promises back. to. All the way back. Test the chin of Shannon Briggs. Lewis was up a little bit too far forward. And driven back and here we go with Lewis is the fast starter big key in many of his fights comes right at Briggs the story of this fight is can Briggs do something back and he lands a right hand and Briggs comes right back at Lennox Lewis Lewis to jab Briggs knows that he must take some chances early and he landed a right hand got Lewis to smile here Briggs will not let Lewis simply walk through him. He took a stand early. 
Williams. Right to the body by Briggs. And you'll hear crowds reacting when he lands punches. Lewis almost had the opportunity for a big right hand there. Briggs trying to crowd Lewis a little bit here. Smother the range on, go, of those go, big let bombs. Go, let him go, Lennox. Break! Not beyond the end of Lewis's jab. Key against Lewis, many observers feel, is to take this into the middle rounds, at least to give yourself a chance. Briggs out to prove that the victory over Foreman was not a fluke. Lewis stalking. Scores with a jab. Well, we're already past the Lewis Galata mark. Briggs takes a shot there. Jab in the right hand behind it. Two big men, both who can be stylists when they want to. And on that basis, could set itself up for a fight as a hook by Briggs. Now Briggs taking his chance. A hook to Lewis. Briggs coming on. Big opportunity for Shannon Briggs. Right in the face of Lennox Lewis. Chopping right hand, and Lewis is reeling. Here comes Briggs with a leaping left hand. Lewis hanging on for dear life in this fight. Round one, a beauty. The Briggs surprise here, the hook to the temple area, driving Lewis back. And Briggs, knowing that <coughs> fortune can come and go in a heavyweight fight, he goes right for it. Big hook against Lewis. So an explosive first round, but not the one the experts had predicted as the 12 to 1 underdog steps up and make right, some noise. Come on, come on out of Second come round. Out of Scheduled for hey, look, 12. You guys stop left. And Lewis come on, don't hang hearing it Lewis. from Get his people up. about let him balance go. Let him go. Let him go. in between let him go. rounds. Thought he was off balance and set himself up to be hit by Briggs. Get off him. Get off him. Get off him. Shannon Briggs rock. Come on, Lennox come on. Lewis. I say Briggs, step back, man. Sent a message, and there are those in boxing who feel that Lewis's chin can also be suspect. <coughs> Briggs at close range again here. Horrid pace set by both in the first round. They are both breathing heavily here. Let him go, Lennox. You're Who holding, Lennox. will be Let the next go, one man. to gamble? Break. Come on, come on, come on out. Straight right by Briggs. Straight right back by Lewis. Lewis with an uppercut that ties him up Let and him holds go, on. Lennox. You're holding him. You're holding, Lennox. Briggs certainly gained Lewis's respect in the opening round, yet it is Briggs holding on in the second. Chopping right by Lewis. Briggs shakes his head no, shakes his head no again. Maybe Lewis will try that. So Briggs shakes his head. Yes, a good hook by Briggs. Lewis again. Back to the corner. Briggs going all out, hoping he cannot be forced to Get fight late Get in this him. bout. Get off him, man. I break. 
Shannon Briggs has seen some opportunities in the first two rounds, and the left hook to the temple has been the shot. That's open for him. Good jab by Lewis. They both have good jabs. Welcome back to Mendez Boxing Gym here in the heart of New York City. Mark, Shannon Briggs is having a lot of success in the first two rounds here. He's had Lennox in trouble. Yeah, but he can't finish him. He gets Lennox on the ropes, but he throws everything to the head. He never threw not one body shot. And this is probably where the experience of Manuel Stewart comes onto the corner because they look pretty calm in Lennox's corner. Oh, yeah, but what Emmanuel told, told Lennox was just start tapping him to the body, start touching him to the body, and it took all the air out of him. Well, let's go back and catch the action in round three here in Atlantic City. Third shot on the temple area by Briggs. To his credit, he kept coming, and the third shot got in. But then everything is wide, and that worked against him. Third round, torrid beginning between Lennox Lewis and Shannon Briggs. Good right to the body by Lewis. Uppercut by Lewis. Good shot, and Briggs comes right back. Both of these guys are fighting as though it's not safe to box. Come on, get him loose. They get both loose. believe they go. have to go. slug. Just about every punch in this fight has been landed hard. Get off him, get off him, Lennox. Briggs, step back. Between step rounds, both of you. Briggs' his people imploring him to get back to the jab. Lewis, of course, is noted for a very good one. Now Lewis cornering Briggs more. Briggs does not want to be here. And if he is, Lewis can take him to school with that jab. Now Lewis is closing ground here and has some excellent potential. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Lennox Lewis, who got popped early, seems to have his legs back and under control. Fighting with a little bit more get authority. Get off his neck, Lennox. Get off his neck. Good right hand by Lewis. Jab, another right hand. Briggs again with the perfunctory shake of his head. No. That one got in pretty nicely. Lewis does have his legs back, I feel. However, both uh, fighters both are very back. tired from the early pace of this fight. It's been a pretty explosive three rounds for heavyweights. The battle of the jabs is dominant now. Lewis trying to get the right hand behind it, but Briggs is also fighting in a game manner. Stay off his neck, Lennox. Stay Lewis off his neck. cleared out all the cobwebs. Had the boxing advantage in round three. Right, break, both of you step back, Bell. <laughs> Lewis, 
Better boxing round, excellent uppercut. He also had the right hand going. And he's really able to find himself more against the wide open defenses here of Shannon Briggs. Round four, Lewis and Briggs. It has been excellent thus far, with Lewis perhaps starting to take over. Hook by Lewis. Driving Briggs back a right hand. Briggs holding on to the ropes. Could have been called the knockdown, but was not. If you hold on to the ropes for support, it can be called a knockdown. Right cross by Lennox Lewis. Briggs his game, but gets driven back again. Lewis has an opportunity. How tired is he? We will find out. Both fighters sprinted out of the gate, and Briggs is down. Five, six, seven. Lewis eight. taking over here at the end of round three and in round four, and Briggs is tired. The same time of the fight that Darrell Wilson caught up to him in his only loss. And Lewis does not let many fighters let him off go, the hook. Shannon, let him Briggs go. in deep, deep trouble. And Lewis pounding away. Frank Cappuccino up, getting up, a good look. He'll give up, Briggs every chance to stay in there. Lewis with a hook. Briggs is totally tired. Right hand by Lewis. Too much round left. A long time for Briggs to get through. Fires the hook. Briggs had an excellent chance in rounds one and two. Both fighters are dog tired. Who wants this more? Chopping right by Lewis. Clean flush shot. And Briggs with a looping left hand over the top. Good punch by Lewis. Three shots there. Another chopping right on Briggs. Briggs' his legs are wobbly, and he should be tying Lennox Lewis up. Let him go, let him go, let him Lewis go. Lewis is also tired, but in far better shape at this moment Come than on, Shannon let's Briggs. Play games here, man. Let him out, let him out, let him out, Lennox. Lewis gets hit by Briggs. Now Briggs comes on again. Both fighters too tired to finish it, and Briggs is down again. Five, six, and Briggs make it. Seven, eight, up at eight. Terrific round for Lennox Lewis, and Briggs right back to him. Not even trying to hold him up. Does Lewis have enough time to finish it in this round? Only a few seconds left. Lewis explodes on Briggs in round four, and he makes it to the end. Put your fingers up. So all the noise, I can't hear it. Right hand leads and more left hooks now, okay? Right hand leads and more left Somebody get that Lewis ball with two there. knockdowns in that round. Big hook, the big looping right hand on top of that. Briggs is down. It looks okay on that one. And then later in the round, he would go down get again. Get that bottle. Hold round it, hold five. Get that bottle. What these there. fighters wouldn't do for a little bit of oxygen. Briggs comes on with Lewis. A battle of who will get in the last punch. But has Briggs had his best opportunity and seen it go by? Or can he create another one? 
Lewis seems intent on finishing this. But can he muster it up? He's got Briggs right in front of him. Briggs not moving. And Lewis taking off big left hook. Terrific shots by Lennox Lewis. And Briggs still up. Briggs digging in for the body. Lewis applying more pressure and both fighters extremely tired. And Briggs is down. It may be it. He was blocked. Four, five, six, seven. He shows his gameness and the crowd loves him for it. He was nailed by Lennox Lewis who almost has a look of disbelief on his face. How many times does he have to put Briggs down before this will be over? These are big shots by Briggs. He's getting hit with shots by Lewis. Uppercut, left hook, the right hand. Briggs goes down on his own accord, and it's over. He's telling Frank Cappuccino I slipped. Frank Cappuccino says, I don't care. You come back another day, A ferocious fight between Lennox Lewis and Shannon Briggs. And that was entertainment in the highest order. A short fight can also be sweet. 145, fifth round. These guys waged a 12-round fight as if it was scheduled for six. Both gambled on an early pace. Hey, let's go, and Lennox let's Lewis was able to withstand early danger. Very big early danger. This two-punch combination could have been the end of the fight based on the look in Briggs' face when it happened. A left hand and a tremendous right behind it. That one hurt Briggs. He was down. And for the count of six, he did not move. Now, here's the second part. He's getting hit. Big shot there. And he goes down. Lewis coming on here, just about doing everything that he wanted. These are big shots here. And then Briggs spinning himself down, but Frank Cappuccino says that's enough. You've taken so much. Briggs put himself on the floor with a missed hook. But did not matter by that point. So Lennox Lewis, the happy winner, and he did survive tonight. And he became a lot less scary to a few opponents. And Shannon Briggs gave it 100%. Was a halt to the bout. The official time, one minute, 45 seconds of round number five. The winner and still WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox.